Good morning, guys. March 27, 2024. Critical information uh, before the market opens. Uh, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, there, despite of the market's going to go back in the red today, so the market is pumping right now. S&P is up 20 points, roughly. Uh, it's going to unwind at the open. So the market's going to have another red day. But there's two stocks uh, that have huge potential to go substantially higher because they're not necessarily correlated in in a regular way with the rest of the market and one of them we posted a video about actually multiple videos guys djt which is a new ticker for dwac uh that one's uh, making us a ton of money uh but uh it's got potential to run way the hell higher i mean it wouldn't be shocking if djt by tomorrow or today hit at 90 bucks 100 plus so this is a really great trade and there's no doubt it's going to hit possibly 150 uh next week so uh historically uh dwac does not trade on what the rest of the market is going to do it trades on uh its own thing okay and it's got definitely a, a lot more mojo around right now than the rest of the market so another one to keep an eye on today is mrna and arguably this could be the best trade of the day right here mrna calls it's got an investor day at some point in the day we could see some really strong volume coming into the stock so let's glance at uh, let's glance a closer look at the chart of mrna but as far as the regular stuff okay M nvidia cannot bounce for shit since yesterday okay uh after it created this tornado pattern nice flush from 950 to 923 within minutes this is where the money is made right now guys is on this fast lightning fast drops same thing uh, with smci at right, the stock is opens at 1106 yesterday before the day is over it's at 1020 which is almost a 100 point drop uh small bounce this morning to 1045 that's that's going to resolve to a great great downside here um and of course bitcoin uh tornado pattern uh prevails so expect a further drop before bitcoin hits 80. uh it's going to go down to 60 probably one more time so with that said uh gold hits the same level that it does hits all-time highs one more time today pre-market and sells off almost immediately so this is this is a flash crash pattern for gold this is not good for the markets because normally gold and the market they trade in the same direction at least over the course of the last four years so until that correlation is broken uh, expect the same direction for gold in the rest of the markets uh, so yesterday we've seen a bit of a rotation from technology stocks into the big uh, Dow Jones names well that is gone today they're selling both so uh, selling off the top after the bounce so short the bounce guys focus on short and the bounce but let's take a look at uh, mRNA in a little bit uh, greater detail here Okay, this is a mRNA stock chart uh, on the daily one month uh, time frame. And we're using candle volume, which is basically a candle uh, weighted uh, way of looking at the candles. So it's a much, gives you a much easier way of looking at candles than reading candles. So I strongly recommend for you guys to start using this. Um, and basically tells you on the 11th of March, the biggest volume goes with the biggest move sometimes you'll have a huge volume but the candle will be small so that tells you hey uh there is a move compression that's going to evolve into a bigger move later um, all the other volume bars on this chart they are much smaller and also that represents much smaller volume so since basically a ton of people has gotten in and push the stock to 114 on March 11th. We have not really had, the stock just consolidated. It retested some lows around 100. Every time it tried to touch anything close to 100, it got bought. That's what these uh, tail weeks represent. And basically, since then, it comes back to this level of uh, 112. It's trading right now pre-market at 111. So there is a great probability that considering it's an investor day, some of the biggest moves stocks make on investor days, that it will create a continuation of the move that started on March 11th. So in order to decipher that, let's take a closer look at a one-year chart. 
so you can have a better idea of what's actually going on. So in November, the stock bottomed out. Uh, a lot of uh, since then, it's up, but it's nowhere. I mean, everything is up since then. But some of the biotechnology stocks, they're up 4x, 5x. I mean, some of the biotechnology stocks have doubled. Uh, one of the greatest trades we've had uh, a few years ago was holding mRNA calls when it was going from uh, 200 all the way to 450. And it has not had such a run since then. And I think it's about to go on a wild run, uh, particularly when we consider this pattern right here in this part of the chart, which is a uh, cup with a handle pattern. It's lacking today. Today is going to be the main critical day for this pattern because if it breaks above 115, 116 and actually holds it, that means there's going to be a ton of buyers coming in right here, pushing the stock at 117, 118, 119, pushing the stock above 120. And once it clears 120, I think it's got a straight shot to 140, 150 area. 144 in particular is where we believe the stock could actually shoot up as early as tomorrow, possibly next week. So. Uh, guys, this is a huge trade. Options are stupidly underpriced in relation to the size of the move that the stock can make. As you can see, not so long ago, all of the all of the history that the stock has had in the last three months. If you if you focus on these white candles, here's the biggest candle here. Here's another really nice size candle, and here's the third one. All of these big days they come on the upside not the downside in the stock of moderna the last huge sell-off it had back in november well back in november i mean late late october november a lot of stocks were selling off as you remember we posted a bullish video okay on the first day actually we posted it before the first day of uh uh yeah, the beginning of the year, January 1st, and basically this is what the, this big candle right here, it's on the first trading day of 2024. Okay, it also is a sign that the stock is great, greatly going to outperform a lot of other stocks, but it has not yet done so. So if you consider the cup with the handle, which could be at a breaking point to the upside, and if the price holds above 115, 116 today, you're going to see a ton of buyers into this. Also, if you take a look at the MACD right here, I mean, it is now has got some bullish momentum going. The cross that has taken place right here uh, at the area of uh, 80, 80, 85 areas being the area where they've been buying it. I mean, that's the level there. Uh, all the bullish uh, crosses are right here. Those are your golden crosses. As far as your moving averages, you've got your 200 is being crossed to the upside with a 50 and the 20. That's what the blue and the green lines are. So both of them are about to make that bullish cross. And the catalyst is today. So with options, when you're trying to time a trade, uh, ideally you want to match a catalyst down to the day or down to at least the week within which the catalyst could push something substantially lower or higher. In this case, despite of us being crazily bearish on the market, okay, there's a couple of stocks, okay, right now. One is uh, Donald J, J. Trump and the other one is mRNA. Those, those stocks could do really, really well on the call side, guys. So don't miss it. Okay, trade it with the 32 Market Moves Coach. Uh, you're going to want to know the strikes. You're going to want to know expirations. You're going to know everything that will take to take this trade today, mRNA, to potentially a 20, 30 exer trading weekly options. Okay. So if you want to know the secret of trading this week's options, next week's uh, weekly options, guys, give us a call right now here at 13mmtv.com. Um, by uh, clicking the link somewhere below this video. Guys, this is a humongous trade. Now, don't fall asleep, okay? 
as of yesterday, right, the market uh, has done some crazy shit. It was a solid move six, okay? I, you can't really see it on a one-year chart, but, I mean, that's how ridiculous it is. A 20-point drop yesterday within 20 minutes looks like it's a fucking flash crash. So let's take a look at a two-day chart. Boom! That was yesterday, right? So the market doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything until it fucking does, right? And basically, the whole day, the market looks like this. This is like, just go sideways, sideways, sideways. In the last half an hour, uh, right as I was, <clears throat> right as I was noticing that tornado pattern developing on the SMCI, and I've recorded the video on that, here comes the rest of the market, boom, in a tornado fall. So nice drop really nice payout guys this 30 30 point drop in the last 30 minutes i mean that was really i mean your opportunity to go 10x within 30 minutes so if you miss that you should be missing trades like that as a trader who wants to move your account into the stratosphere this year in 2024 this candle right here is a 10x candle when it happens when nobody's expecting it, when it happens, when options are stupidly underpriced, that 30-point drop gets you paid 10x plus. And there is a chance we're going to have a similar setup today. Now, it does not mean it's going to evolve in the last 30 minutes of the trading session, but this was a solid move six yesterday. So there's a great probability of a solid move two today. Six two combination, six two sequence. That's a beautiful setup, guys. Again, go to 13mmtv.com, click the big orange button and sign up to trade with a coach or click the link below this video somewhere. Guys, big trade day ahead. Let's roll. Let's set some trading records.